Hey guys, what's up anyway? This is the end result of the video and uh, basically it's just getting the ground clutter to work and yeah, that's the gist of it. Usually if I do it by myself without having to explain anything, I could deal within like six, seven minutes. But since I'm explaining uh, how to do stuff and my my processes, uh, it's gonna, it takes a bit longer than that naturally. So it, yeah, so um, bear with it and uh, yeah, alrighty, later, thanks. Hey guys and gals, what's up? Good Wednesday to everybody. Anyway, today I'm going to try to show you guys how to get the uh, the ground clutter to work within the Draenor patch. And it's really simple. I could do it in like five, six, seven minutes. Um, but since I'm going to be explaining this, it's going to take a little longer than that. First thing you got to do is use Cascade Explorer to, uh, extract, the, is to extract the stuff from, from the Draenor ins ins installation. All right, and uh, just, just, just put it somewhere. I'm just going to make a new folder on my desktop, call it uh whatever oh wait let me let me start it with like a number or something so at least uh you know a pop up on the top of the list all right the things you're gonna want to extract out is uh, is two dbc files so go to two db files client get the ground something uh dbc file uh ground 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 effect and ground uh ground texture all right, extract these to that folder, to, to this blah, just to make it easier. I'm, I'm going to move it to the wild parts, but just to do it, just to do it uh, quickly. All right, that, and also go back to the root and take out the, uh, the um, what's it called? What was it, world, and then no, no DXT. Right click this, extract, same folder, hit OK. All right, let that go. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? And then uh, close that out. Now put the DBC files within this wild parts folder. I'll, I'll have all the links like I usually do in the description of whatever I might be using. All right. So I uh, just drag and drop this into here. Click on the first one, turn those things into text files, and then uh, delete the, the original DBC files. And I'm gonna put a number six on the front of it just so I can, uh, just so I'll know that, that, that they are, uh, uh, whatever all right and then um let's see and then just copy and paste these into here the next thing you want to do is go into your core folder and uh, get your unmodified uh, 3x version uh, uh dbc files of uh, of the same name so ground effect do that blah and this one copy these over here and you can close the core minimize whatever you don't you don't need to replace those this is this is mainly just for the client. I right, turn those into, uh, into CS, uh, CSV files as well. Delete the originals. All right, and then one of these, have, one of the two is the same um, same file structure as as uh, as the three X and the six X. So let me just open them all up in Notepad plus plus. Uh, no. All right. So open this up and just drag and drop these into here, and then. Let me just order uh, order these. So this is the effect texture. Put this one over here. This one right here. And I think it's not that one. It's just the effect texture. I think that has the same format pretty much. Uh, ground effect texture DBC blah, and this one ground blah blah. So yeah, it should be the same. So let me see. This is, has that many. This has that many. So those are the same. So you can just just uh, dis uh, close those. Those uh, those out and just use use the six six point uh, ground effect texture, All right? And so uh, ground effect texture, I can delete this one here, and I can rename this one back to normal because I'm just going to be using that one. All right, for the other one, ground effect doodads, uh, the difference between it, it's pretty much the same, but the difference is that uh, this is a three x and it in and it only has three uh, values. The 6x has uh, five, all right? It, it has two extra floats. So to make it work, you would have to delete the two extra floats, all right? Um, couple ways you can do this. It's it's totally up to you it, uh, on, on how you wanna do it, all right? Um, I'm gonna give you probably the dumbest way to do it, but it works. And usually I would use Excel, but this works fairly well, all right? Because it's pretty much all, all the same. So uh, just just delete the, the last two floats so that it mixes with that. And then now you just wanna do a search for uh, just make, make a macro to delete everything after that quotation. 
not not that the uh, uh, the uh, ugh, quotation. Why why did I say that? That uh, th uh this comma. So so uh, delete this this comma and on and onwards to to match up. So I'm just gonna uh, gonna, uh, gonna gonna uh, do a find for this. So if I find it, it's gonna find that. Fine 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 fine. All right. So I'm gonna hit start recording macro. I'm gonna find that. Click up here so I get out of that window. Push my right arrow key, then right arrow key again. Hold Shift, push End, and then Delete. All right, you got that. Now I'm just going to hit Stop, and if I play that over and over again, it's going to do that. All right. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna. So that's pretty much the idea. So I'm just gonna undo it, so I could just uh, do it. A little better so I hit count now just to see how many there are there's 1148 so I'll hit this and I'll do is do it 1148 times hit run there you go I'm at the bottom that's all there is to it all right save this out or rather if I want yeah just uh, just copy it all now just uh, uh, control a control C go into here control V paste it in that's it all right and uh, I can close those out because those no longer need to be there, All right? And then uh, so I could delete this one now because that's that's because this has been merged with uh, with that, right? This is the one I just did, right? And it's been merged, so that's good. All right, now I just turn those back into DBC files, and we're good. And then these are going to be the ones that go into the patch to tell the client that hey, there's more. Uh, ground clutter stuff and these are it all right next thing you gotta do is convert all these m2 files to uh, work with wrath lich king so again if i wasn't explaining any of this i'd be done already all right so uh just go into the folder where you extracted this stuff and use my old uh converter that i uh, gave out long ago all right this thing right here, um, just make sure you have a working copy of O1O Editor installed. It has to be working. If the trial is gone, you, you, it's not going to be any useful to you. All right. Uh, but uh, just if you got a working version of O1O, just download it and then whatever, and then go into the first folder and then just drag and drop this the two contents in, inside to the folder of your M2s, and and then run the first batch file, and then that's going to do something, and then run the second one. All right, and then it's gonna do stuff. It's basically using a combination of my O1O script plus uh, Mjolna's uh, 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 Cataclysm M2 to uh, to Wrath uh, uh, program. All right, and it's gonna take a, a little while depending on the speed of your computer, the version of, of O1O that you have running, and such. So while I'm here, I want to give a thanks to uh, my man, Mr. Ferrer, or uh, Mr. Handsome, if that's what he says, or uh, yeah, for uh, giving me, for buying me a copy of uh, O&L because that's 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 why I, I I got it because he got me a legal copy, and because I had the legal copy, I, I can contact uh, 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 contact the people who made the program whenever I have like issues with scripts or something's not working right. I can contact them. It's really cool. It's really nice to have that that ability to to contact him uh, uh directly and ask ask him a buttload of shit that normal people won't ask so um yeah just 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 having that that available to me is uh is extremely resourceful so let this run through for a little bit it's gonna take a little while and uh after, after afterwards you should be good and then yeah we'll we'll move on all right, now that's done. All we got left to do is just make the patch. So I'm just gonna go to my 335 folder and uh, my data folder and just make a new uh, patch. So I'm just gonna call it a patch uh, B or whatever. Um, yeah. All right, from from within here, make a new DB files client folder. Uh, DB files client. All right, drag and drop the two DBCs into there. Right from here, I'm just gonna from. At the roots, I'm just gonna put the world table, not table, but the, the uh, world folder uh, in, uh, into here that should contain all of my doodads. And I just started the game, log in. All right, so I'm in the game, and as you can see, I got, uh, I got ground clutter, all right? 
So um, that's pretty much that. So let me just uh, turn up the lights a little bit with the Machinima tool. And yeah, so you can just see things better and, and whatnot. All right, so there you go. Ground clutter all over the place and that's how you would activate them. All right, so I hope, I hope this, this helped out most of you guys that are watching this. Um, the uh, Again, just like before, the reason I don't have something for you guys to download, other people may just end up watching this video and then sharing a download for the ground clutter because they don't understand the actual, actual, actual philosophy of trying to create a uh, trying to create more modders rather than just having a whole system full of leeches and uh, such but uh, it is what it is and that's just how the world works some people get it some people don't and I hope that uh, whoever's watching this gets that so uh, that's pretty much it thanks for checking this out see you guys later goodbye Let me show what I got for you, girl. So won't you come along?